I don't know where we're going. Yes, They really ruined this nice jar by making it into a lamp. I can't believe it. This was one of those joke golf balls. It's a okay. jigsaw puzzle. Come on. Come on, Daddy. Huh? I did. They're a little pricey for me. Like, that's all $5. I, I don't know. They're too old for me. Not like I need more golf balls. I have probably two or three garbage cans full of golf balls. Seen, I thought that was Guardian where I was like, I've never seen that before. I 
buying a lot of women's shoes, not a lot of men's sneakers. shirt it says guys and dolls <laughs> t-shirts are a dollar I don't know why I'm getting this but I always buy vintage for some reason that we'll take a look 2004 it's kind of neat I don't know what I'd really where can I put them what can I do with them I can do with a lot of stuff that's a real question put on a shelf generally what we do we just put on a shelf Seems like all these Christmas houses are still here. All these people here. One t-shirt, two bucks. See anything of interest? The heck? Oh, that's one heck of a stamp. Probably stamp a lot of things. I think there was a time that, uh, who was it? It was Blue Bus Dave was buying tons and tons of stamps. I've never done well with them, in all honesty. I know they're not that expensive, but they're not that cheap either. I think they're like three to five dollars a piece. So for fifty cents, you're getting three. That's a pretty good deal. If you collected stamps, you probably collect ink. Why do you always find the stamps, but you don't find the ink? Probably because the ink runs out. That's part of the reason. I did put that. That's an old one. I don't, don't want it, but I've never seen a Pyrex curry candle. That's kind of neat. Different. But in the Pyrex world, I don't know if that's really collectible stuff. I mean, a lot of people just want the bowls and the, the casserole bowls and the Cinderella bowls and whatever it is, but... I know they have a couple other odd items. Coffee urn. 
That is one heck of a coffee herd. That's the that is very mid-century like. It's got a handle like that. That is nice. What do you think? again at the rummage sale this is a new one I haven't been to this one it's pretty large I got myself a bag of goodies it was a good day rummage sale score all right so today's rummage sale has been kind of wrapped up it was a very busy day we planned on uh I planned on going to an auction this morning and uh it's been raining on and off all day right now it's kind of just uh it's like showers, but uh, there's three auctions in the area that I wanted to go to, and literally right down the list, first one got postponed, the second one got postponed, and then the third one got canceled in that exact order. So uh, it was kind of like, let's go to this auction, let's go to actual auction, and then uh, eventually just every auction just got canceled. But today is wrapped up. I did stop off at the rummage sale, and as you guys saw, I did grab a couple items. Uh, in fact, I ran to a guy there who... Uh, he works at the local vintage store, which would like buy something like this. And he's like, oh, you have a nice Dale Earnhardt jacket because I wore this. And I bought this at, uh, what was it? It was Jacktown Flea Market for, I think, 3 or $5. And yeah, $3 or $5. I can't remember. And I thought it was waterproof. It is not waterproof. Um, it's also just knocked over something. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to probably end up selling that jacket because I bought it as a waterproof jacket, a rain jacket. And guess what? It wasn't either. So that was that. I did pick up. So they had a nice little free section. Bloomberg mug. Uh, good old uh, basketball guys into mugs too. So I grabbed that for them for free. I would, I would probably never buy a mug uh, just because I don't really, really know what ones are worth money and which ones have some sort of value. In fact, to me, I feel like mugs and coffee cups in general are just such a hard sale. It's one of those one in a million kind of things. I did pick up three yardsticks and salsa observes the uh, merchandise. My friend Steven gave me these. He picked these up and then he's like, hey man, I grabbed these for you if you want them. Uh, and for a quarter each, absolutely. I'll buy them all day long for a quarter each. So he handed them off. We do have two that look like they're from Blakesley, the same exact one. They are mobile home yardsticks. And then we have one from Schaefer's Appliance, and I believe that was Easton, if I flipped it over. I've also gone through quite the abundance of t-shirts and hats and sweatshirts today just because of the rain. Uh, standing out there, I had to change my whole clothes when I got back, but very neat out on Northampton Street, Easton, Pennsylvania, Schaefer's Appliance. So I thought that was kind of cool. Obviously, picking up some candlesticks, candle holders. Um, these were only 75 cents a piece and this one was only a quarter. These are the ones I feel like I see everywhere. Just like these very basic, basic ones. A couple sweaters, nothing too crazy. The sweaters there were $2.50. The t-shirts were a dollar. This one's a nice older single stitch. Uh, University of Maine. Kind of has a nice patina to it. Uh, this one I wasn't sure about, so I didn't know. Maybe it's a musical. That's my guess. I didn't know. Maybe it might be a band. But I'm thinking it might be a musical. Uh, it is older. It's a Screen Stars t-shirt. It's also very thin. You'll notice with these thin t-shirts, you can pretty much see through them. See that? See right through it. They don't make uh, shirts like that anymore. One Deutschland Germany shirt. Kind of cool there, and then I grabbed one Eagles jersey. This is the first thing I grabbed, so uh, all the clothes were kind of like in the middle section. I went to the other side of the middle section, and then the other guy went to the close side of the middle section. Uh, and it seemed like he got all the shirts and the sweatshirts, and I was in the area where they had jerseys. Unfortunately, there was only this one jersey, but 
older logo athletic i don't even know who this player is it is the philadelphia eagles obviously his name was waters or waiters but in terms of who he is don't ask me a clue because i have no idea Football is not my specialty, but this was only a buck also. Um, and anytime I can pick up those sports jerseys that are especially like the real sports jerseys, not like local rec leagues for a dollar, I'm grabbing them all day long. I have enough friends who are Eagles fans where I can say, hey, look, man, throw me a Giants jacket, throw me a Giants t-shirt, throw me a Rangers shirt. We'll just swap these out. Or if you just really want it, here you go. Um, so yeah, that's going to wrap it up here for today's video. Roman sale still going on. We got, I think, two or three more, and then that's it for the spring season. Kind of sad, but hate to see it go, but summer's almost here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed, smack the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Catch you guys next time. Next adventure, who knows what we'll get into until next time. Have a great day. Keep living and dream. Peace.